Hello students, in the last class we learned division of fractions. Today we are going to do word problems related with division of fractions. When do we do division process? When the cost of many is given and we are told to find out the cost of one, we do division. Okay, when the cost of many is given and we are told to find the cost of one, we do the process of division. One more case, very commonly we do division when it is, when the cost of one is given and the cost of many is also given and we are told to find out how many things were sold or how many things were bought or how much is bought. In those cases, we do division of fractions. Uh, sorry, division process. Cost of many mangoes are given and cost of 1 kilogram of mango is also given. And you are told to find out how many mangoes or how many kilogram of mangoes were bought. In that case, we do the process of division. Means to find out the number of things, how many or how much to find out, we do the process of division. Okay, we can see exercise 12.7. Question number 1. By what number 11 2 by 3 be divided to obtain 8 1 by 2? The question is by what? Whenever you get a word problem, you should read the question at least twice to understand what is asked in the question. By what number? 11 2 by 3 be divided to obtain 8 1 by 2. In a division process, it is be divided is given, it means it's said about a division process. Now, which number is divided? 11 2 by 3 is divided by what number? We don't know by which number. And to obtain means what we are getting, obtaining is 8, 1 by 2. You can see here, dividend is given, quotient is given, divisor is missing. How can we find out the divisor? To find out the divisor, what we have to do? Quotient divided by sorry dividend divided by quotient what to be done to find out the quotient what we have to do dividend divided by quotient when you do this process you will get the divisor or the missing number what to do both are mixed fractions what we have to do we have to convert them into improper fractions 3 11 are 33 33 plus 2 35 by 3 okay. divided by 17 by 2 then next we can do 35 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 17 multiplication sign we change then division sign we change into multiplication sign then reciprocal of the second fraction then we can continue the process how we are doing the multiplication process in the same way we can do 235s are 70 by 317s are 51 this will be the answer and you can write as an answer statement 11 2 by 3 should be divided by which number by 70 by 51 you can make it into mixed fraction also no problem divided by 70 by 51 to obtain 8 1 by 2 11 1 2 by 3 should be divided by 70 by 51 to obtain 8 1 by 2 okay this way you have to do this problem because this question is given in that way only just like a division process only then whichever is given we can write it in that place or you can write as a statement divisor is equal to 11 to by sorry 
Dividend is equal to 11 2 by 3. Quotient is equal to 8 1 by 2. Therefore, divisor is equal to 11 2 by 3 divided by 8 1 by 2. Okay. This is the way you have to do the first question. Now we can see question number 2. A bucket has a capacity of 11 1 by 3 liters. A small jug has a capacity of 2 1 by 3 liters. How many such jugs are needed to empty the water of this bucket? The capacity of a bucket is given and capacity of a jug is given. Okay. What is Capacity means quantity of water which can be included in, the, in this bucket. Capacity of the bucket means amount of water or quantity of water can be kept in this bucket. And capacity of the jug means quantity of water which can be included or contained in this jug. Okay. Bucket's capacity is 11 1 by 3 liters and the capacity of the jug is 2 1 by 3 liters. Now our question is how many, you are going to find out how many jugs are needed to empty the water of this bucket. Bucket khali karne ke liye. Okay. To empty the water of this bucket means how many jugs of water is included in this bucket? That is what we are going to find out. It means quantity is included in a big bucket is given. Quantity included in the small jug is given. Number of things. How many jugs are needed? To find out the number of things, what we have to do? We have to do division process. Okay. Now, what will be our first statement? Our first statement will be capacity of a bucket capacity of a bucket that is 11 1 by 3 liters next is capacity of a small jug of a small jug that is 2 1 by 3 liters. Now, last statement. How many such jugs are needed to empty the water of this bucket? Number of jugs needed to empty the water of this bucket. Therefore, number of jugs needed to empty the water of this bucket. Eleven one by three divided by capacity of the bucket divided by capacity of the jug two one by three liters. You can see here both are mixed fractions, so we will convert it into improper fractions. Three eleven are thirty three plus one thirty four by three divided by two three are six plus one. 7 by 3. Now, 34 by 3. Division what to be done? Multiply with the reciprocal. Multiplication. 7 by 3 is reciprocal is 3 by 7. 3 and 3 both are divisible by 3. What is remaining? 34 by 7. You can make it into mixed fraction. 4 sevens are 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 6 by 7. 4, 6 by 7 will be your answer. Okay. The remaining questions we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.